guys. So, um, my name is Jeannie. I'm a museum educator at Creative Discovery Museum. And today we're going to be learning how to make pinch pots. Um, what you're really going to need is I'm going to be using clay, but you guys probably have Play-Doh at home. Really all you need for today is your thing that's moldable. So for me, I'm going to use clay. You probably have Play-Doh. Um, if not, you can also always make your own. There's tons of ways to make your own Play-Doh at home. And then you're gonna need toothpicks or something to carve out of your clay. So getting started with it, um, you'll notice that my clay is different from your Play-Doh because mine has more like an earthy tone. That's because clay originally comes out of the ground. Um, normally we're near riverbanks. Um, that being said, your Play-Doh, use your favorite color if you have it. Just keep you finding ways to make things fun at home. Um, so you're gonna take your ball of Play-Doh or your clay and you're going to separate it into two tiny different balls. One side you're gonna set aside um, and you can make two pinch pots if you want. I What I did earlier was I turned my pinch pot into a little elephant and I'm gonna show you how you guys can do that today too and get to see more like ways of using your clay. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ball, or I'm gonna take my mound of clay and I'm just gonna roll it on the table if I have to. I'm gonna roll it in my hands until I get a good circle or a sphere going. And then once you have that good shape, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of the ball, set it in front of you. You're gonna take a thumb, you're gonna give a big thumbs up and then you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna turn it down into your ball. And if you guys look, you're not gonna go all the way through, you're just gonna make a little hole, um, kind of like a volcano instead of a donut. And then once you get to this point, you're gonna take your, your um, pointer finger and your thumb, make little pinchies, and you're gonna put, um, you could put your pink pointer finger in the center or your thumb, and you're just gonna start pinching along the sides to where you can get a good, um, a good like thick wall you're gonna make it a little taller as you go around and as you do it you're just gonna keep going um and if you want to turn yours into an animal which is what i'm gonna do you can take it and go up with it really think about what what animal you'd want for it and make a body shape out of it since so i'm gonna stick to doing an elephant i'm gonna keep it kind of small kind of round and there you go so if you wanted to um, just do the pinch pot, you could go take a toothpick and you could carve into designs, make little holes. Um, since I wanted to turn my, mine into an elephant, I'm gonna take my pinch pot and turn it over and use my extra clay. And so for the extra clay, I'm just gonna start making the legs. By doing that, I'm just taking clay and rounding it off to two smaller ones and just going around it. And you could do this for any animal, just kind of whichever animal you want to do. Just kind of look at the, sh the basic shapes that its body makes. Um, one thing about clay is sometimes if you don't, um, if it's not sticky enough or Play-Doh, you need to do what's called scoring, which is where you're going to take a toothpick or whatever you can use. You can use like the end of a pin cap, whatever you need, and you're going to make little scratch marks in it, the scratch mark is going to make it stick and hold together a little bit more. And so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. I won't do that with all of them just for time's sake, but you guys make sure that you can do that if you want it to stick stronger. Um, cool thing about Play-Doh is you guys can easily just kind of, if you mess up, you can just squish it back down and then start back over. No worries. And so I'm just make keep adding and making the legs. And then once you have the legs on the bottom, you're gonna take it and turn it over and your um, pinch pot turned over ends up being the body for whatever animal you want. Since I wanted to do an elephant, I'm just gonna make, take um, a really small piece of clay. I'm gonna just roll it until I get, it looks like a little snake and I'm just gonna attach that to the back and that can be its tail. And then, Get a little bit more clay. I'm just gonna make a small little ball. 
It may be too small, but that's okay. Grab a little more clay. Cool thing is, is clay is really easy, or Play-Doh is really easy for adding and subtracting stuff. So you can just pinch stuff on or, or pinch stuff off, add stuff to it. So now I have the head going and take a little bit more clay. And the ears are kind of shaped like a really wide triangle. So you're just gonna take your, and mold it in your hands. I'm sure you guys are awesome experts at um, Play-Doh, so I don't really, not worry too much about that. I'm sure you guys could show me some stuff more than what I could. And take it and pinch it. And last but not least, so we know it's an elephant, you're gonna grab some more clay, and you're gonna roll it in your hands so you get a, a snake-like shape. You're gonna take it and just kind of fold it along and attach it to the front. And voila, you get an elephant with a really long nose, but an elephant nonetheless. So, like I said, you guys could do any animal you wanted. I just wanted to do an elephant. Um, that being said, I would encourage you guys to take yours. If you're done, you can squish it back together and then start over and make a new animal. Easy peasy. Bye guys.